Right, welcome back to our second part of our glass markups. So the first part, we looked at the main settings markups, where we're just basing a scale based on the price per square metre of glass. In this one, we want to cover how you can use an individual item, like the one we had earlier, GLME, and override these main settings. Okay, so anything you markups you put on an individual item will override those main settings. Let's go back and have a look at our cell. So this is where we will override those main settings. It's a cell marker. So you could just simply do a markup and say for this one item, you wanted 120%. But what we're going to do though, is use break. Because what I want to do is set a minimum price. So this is one quick way of doing it. So we can just say break. I'm gonna add another option here. So the first one is going to be from zero square meters, say to 0 0.1 of a square, 0 0.1 of a square meter, and let's just say we want to charge $50 for anything in that size range. So I'm going to change this to step. Step means exactly that. Anything in that step is charged at $50. Then anything else will leave our 80% markup. Okay, so I'm going to click save. So if we go back to our sale, so this 200 by 300 is 0 0.06 of a square meter. So this should now change from our $26 to our minimum price of $50. And as you can see, it's done exactly that. Then anything over 0.1 square meter. So if we go back and say uh, 0.1 square meter is about 400 by 300 is 0.12 square meters. Click save. And now we're back into our 80% markup range. Okay, going back to our item, so that's just setting a quick minimum and then continuing on with our normal markup. But you can also set price ranges for each size level. So if I change all these to step, I'll leave the last one still as our 80% markup, for any, and we'll do that one anything over one square meter. And let's just say we'll put in 0.25 here, uh, 0.5 a square meter, and we'll make that one $80. We'll make that one, um, so that's 0.1 to 0.25, $80. Make it 125 from 0.25 to 0.5, and 150 for any between 0.5 a square meter and one square meter. Okay, let's just save this back to our sale. So now this is 0.12. So remembering, 0.12 will now be at $80. Okay, it was charging 52 before. Click save. So now you can see it's at $80. If we added our size to go to over 0.5 a square meter, so let's say point, oh, sorry, 800 by 800 is 0.64 square meters. And just to confirm, we're now charging 150. 0 0.8 was 150. So let's just see what happens when we go over one square meter. Okay, we'll change this back to, so we'll say 1,000 by 1,100, just to make sure we're over that one square meter. Click save. So you can now see we're back into the 80% markup. If you take that 80 off the 350 to get your actual cost, is 270. Uh, multiplied by the 80% markup will give you 485. Okay, so that's a second way of doing it. Um, you can do this... Uh, in other ways as well. For instance, you can do a combo markup. You need to just save this for this one to take effect. Now with the combo markup, you'll notice now you get two pricing structures. One's a pass-through. So pass-through means if the second price is true, it will skip pricing one. We're going to do a complementary, which means it will do both. So let's do the first one and let's do this one as a minimum price no matter what size. So let's just say it's got a minimum of $20. Okay, and then we'll do our normal markup um, of 80%. Okay, so let's just save this. If we go back to here, so this was 80% anyway, but now you can see it had that extra $20. I don't know if you caught that in time, but it had an extra $20 added to it. But it also means if we do something like 100 by 100, 
which is 0.01 of a square meter, you can see it's got the $20 and then it will only be $4 as our markup because the actual cost is only $2.50 of glass. Okay, so that's another way of doing individual pricing and making the most of those minimum amounts on your glass. Okay, I hope all that makes sense. Please, if you have any questions or would like to see more information or more to-dos on the glass markups, please send an email to info at i-framer.com.au. Thank you.